In a previous video, we had a look at seven different ways to create empty files, but which way is faster? In order to test this, I wrote a shell script that would time each of the seven methods and record the time it took to create the empty files. Each of the methods were run 50 times and an average time is used in the results. The script took about 60 days to complete and generated over 200 megabytes of results. The version of Python 2 that was used was Python 2.7.12 and the version of Python 3 used was Python 3.5.2. So let's take a look at the results. For creating 100 empty files, redirect and append are the clear winners. With times of 0.0073 and 0.00714 seconds respectively. Followed by redirecting the output of slash dev slash null with touch and cat in 4th and 5th. The slowest are Python 2 and Python 3. The really interesting point is that Python 3 takes double the time that Python 2 takes to create 100 empty files. Let's see how these methods perform with 1000 files. So redirect and append are still not even close to taking one second. All of the methods have increased taking 10 times as long as just creating 100 files. So for 10,000 files, we would expect the time taken to be 10 times longer than these 1,000 empty file times. Let's see if that's the case. Slash dev slash null, touch and cat all seem to be doing slightly better than expected. Cat was approximately 5.5 seconds faster than expected. Touch was approximately 5 seconds faster than expected. And slash dev slash null was 4.1 seconds faster than expected. Python 2 and Python 3 are taking approximately 10 times as long as they took in generating 1,000 files. The time taken to produce 100,000 files with each of these methods is approximately 10 times as long as generating 10,000 files. If we have a look at the Python 3 time, which is 2,859 seconds, that works out to 47 minutes and 39 seconds to generate 100,000 files. At this point, I decided to modify both of the current Python methods before proceeding in increments of 100,000 up to a million files. Instead of using a bash for loop and calling an entirely new instance of Python to create each empty file, I decided to call an instance of Python once and use a Python for loop to generate all of the files. As we're not really trying to test the performance of loading Python, but test the performance of creating empty files. So let's take a look at these results. I've left in the results for the original Python runs using a bash for loop just for comparison. If we have a look at this graph from 100,000 files onwards, you can see that cat is the slowest with touch running a little faster and dev null completing in a faster time still. Redirect, append and both of the Python loop methods seem to be hugging the X axis by comparison. Let's just look at these methods on their own graph so that we can see which is the fastest method. The clear winner is the Python 2 loop method with the Python 3 method coming in a distant second, followed by redirect and append in third and fourth. So now that we've worked out which is the fastest method, we've been given a whole load of other questions to ask. The first of which is why did Python 3 perform so much slower than Python 2? If we look at some of the times, Python 3 is taking approximately seven seconds per 100,000 files, whereas Python 2 is taking between four and five seconds. You would expect as Python 3 is much newer than Python 2, it should have been on par with Python 2, if not faster. Another question is what's going on with both append and redirect from 900,000 files to a million files? What is causing this massive slowdown when creating a million files? While redirect is a single character to type and is faster at creating files than touch, it does have limitations. For example, globbing. Let's say you want to create 10 empty files that are all labeled sequentially. With touch, this is very simple. All you need to do is type touch empty, open squiggly brackets and put your range inside of those. And if we try that with redirect, we get an error as redirect is expecting us to provide a single destination for it to redirect to. So I hope you found this interesting and thanks for watching. Goodbye.